You know, if I'm being honest, I'm really not that proud of it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 143. And today I'm gonna talk to you about the crazy week that I just had. So you know from last week's vlog that I was doing a really big video shoot last weekend. I ended up recording last vlog Sunday, or sorry, Saturday evening. And I had already gone through one day of this photo shoot or in this video shoot. And uh, we had another day Sunday, which was just a really big day of recording different footage inside of my clinic and doing some additional interview footage and stuff like that. So uh, crazy busy. Yes, I had to wear makeup. Uh, I'm really not that proud of it, but it is what it is. Um, you know, if I would have been blessed with better looks, maybe I wouldn't have to use makeup, but you know, anytime that you're on camera, in fact, I don't use any makeup when I do these videos. So I guess these other videos will probably make me look better. Hopefully that would be great. Plus they had really amazing camera equipment. I actually asked one of the camera guys how expensive the camera was that he was using. And he said that that camera is around $220,000. And I'm like, holy cow. I think my whole camera setup that I'm recording on right now is probably like 1,500. Uh, if you include all the lighting and all the other stuff, maybe two grand, 2,500, somewhere in there for this you know, at home YouTube studio that I'm in right now. But uh, nonetheless, it was a really uh, fun weekend, got a ton of footage. I can't wait for it to come out and I can't wait to kind of actually launch and announce these projects that I've been working on. So um, that kind of led into a, my, well, my first three day week. So I had told you previously that I was going to be going down to three days a week inside of the clinic. So now I work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I've already started talking to some of my patients and saying, hey, some of your gold visits will not be with me. They'll either be with our extern or they'll be with another audiologist inside of our clinic. Most of them are Oh, totally fine with it because they've interacted with these other individuals during the course of their care with me anyway. And so uh, they know that they can trust these other providers inside of my office. So uh, it was still kind of crazy because Kelsey, my current extern, was not in the office this week. And so I had to basically handle all of my patients on my own. I did have my uh, my assistant, Alexis, who helped out a ton this week, uh, couldn't do it without her, so she's really a, a strong team player. And then the other audiologists helping me out as well throughout the week, so that was, that was fantastic. Um, so let's talk about what else happened this week. On Wednesday, we had our, I don't know, is it like our eighth or ninth podcast episode? We actually had Barbara Kelly, who's the executive director of Hearing Loss Association of America, which is abbreviated HLAA. I actually had her fly out to Arizona for that particular podcast. It is a fantastic one, if you ask me. I think that you should go check it out after you're done watching this vlog. But we talked a lot about you know, how HLAA started. Uh, we talked a lot about over-the-counter hearing aids. We talked about Medicare and Medicare, uh, you know, the trying to get hearing aids covered inside of Medicare, why it didn't happen, and then the potential for it to happen maybe in the future. And then, of course, we talked about best practice care and person-centered care came up a lot inside of our conversation. But it was a really good conversation with Barbara, Dr. Cook, and I. And I really think it's worth the watch. I think it was about a 55 minute long episode. We had Kelsey come on to do the Q&A, but she was virtual She didn't because she did not come into the office this week, but she wanted to be on the show uh, and help us out. So we tried to get her in virtually, but we're still having audio issues with the virtual guests. And that, you know, obviously doesn't sit well with me. Um, you know, it costs a lot of money to produce these shows and I want the shows to be really well done. And I just, well, we're not there yet. Clearly, we're not there yet. So we're gonna continue to work on that here. Uh, I do have a, another hearing up provider spotlight gonna happen this coming week. And I'm nervous that we're not gonna get good audio with her uh, because she's gonna be a really good interview as well on the show. But nonetheless, fantastic episode. I think this is the third time I've said it. Go back and watch that episode. It was fantastic. Um, so what next? Uh, Thursday and Friday. So this was the first week that I've had Thursday and Friday dedicated to doing content creation and having meetings. And if I'm being really honest, it was a lot of meetings this past Thursday and Friday, uh, pretty much from the very beginning of the day throughout the end of the day on a lot of them. Uh, we're doing meetings. So, so who do I meet with? Well, we onboard new hearing up providers almost every week. Um, we have a lot of, you know, uh, 
uh, talks with different sponsors of the channel. Um, we have uh, individuals who I am uh, communicating with from an OTC perspective, because if you are unaware, if you've been living under a rock someplace, uh, you wouldn't know that over-the-counter hearing aids are actually coming out on Monday, October 17th, is the first day that officially over-the-counter hearing aids will be for sale. And so I'm having conversations with a lot of these companies about their products, about my ability to um, talk about these products and potentially list them on my hearingup.com website um, and doing some kind of affiliate stuff with them or sponsored stuff with them because I have always been a big proponent of over-the-counter hearing aids. In fact, one of the reasons I started my channel five years ago is because I knew that when OTC hearing aids were going to come out, I needed to be able to give my opinion on the performance of these devices because I just didn't trust every single company in this over-the-counter hearing aid space to be honest at how good their product was. So I wanted to be able to talk about their products and give you know these reviews to help you understand what you're getting yourself into if you do choose to go the over-the-counter hearing aid route. But I still think over-the-counter hearing aids are great because the, one of the two outcomes are going to be is that A, you try over-the-counter hearing aids and you like them and you feel like you're hearing better and that's great. Or if you try them because you're like, eh, I want to get my feet wet with something, you try them and you don't like them, then you're like, yeah, okay, I need to go get my hearing tested by a professional. So in my opinion, it's a win-win. More people treat their hearing loss um, and you know it's more accessible, more affordable, and it gets you know, it's kind of like a stepping stone to doing, you know, prescriptive level care. So I really don't see any downsides to it at all, to be honest with you. And even though direct to consumer hearing aids have been around for decades at this point, in fact, a lot of the the new OTC hearing aids are just going to be the same exact devices that you've always been able to get. They're just rebranded OTC. And now the FDA has the ability to regulate these devices, which is nice because there's a lot of companies out there who are basically uh, illegally going to be selling direct-to-consumer hearing aids that are not meeting the over-the-counter hearing aid criteria. So we'll see if the FDA actually does something. I doubt that they will. It'll really be interesting to see what they do with Apple since Apple has a hearing aid functionality inside of their Apple AirPods Pro and Apple AirPods Pro 2 devices, even though they don't call them hearing aids. So again, we'll see if the FDA actually cracks down on Apple with that and forces them to register it as an OTC hearing aid. But nonetheless, a lot of calls with that. And a lot of my time over the course of the next three months or so is going to be spent heavily reviewing a lot of these products. Now, some of these products I've already reviewed because like I said, they have not changed to any significant capacity from what they were as a DTC hearing aid, so direct-to-consumer hearing aid, on their transition to an OTC, which is an over-the-counter hearing aid. So some of those are just gonna be like, yeah, here's, it's the exact same product, they just repackaged it in a package that says it's an OTC hearing aid. But there's going to be a lot of new ones coming out. You know, I know Sony announced that they're coming out with new hearing aids because they've kind of partnered with, with WS Audiology, which is Widex Insignia. Um, we have some other hearing aid manufacturers that I've heard of. Uh, uh, Starkey, who's going to be coming out with an over-the-counter hearing aid. And there'll be a variety of other ones. So uh, here on October 17th, I'm basically going to be sending my assistant over to the uh, you know Walgreens and Best Buy and even go online and just start ordering these products so I can start doing details reviews of them so you guys can understand what the pros and cons are of all of these different particular products. So uh, that's what my life is going to be for the next three, maybe even six months, and I do expect to see new devices coming out relatively frequently. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see what the uptake is on over-the-counter hearing aids right out, of the gate, right out of the gate. I don't think that it's going to be huge, but I think you'll see a little spike, you know, right at the beginning, and then we'll see how it climbs. I think that people are going to be trying to get information about these products to find out what, you know, is good about them, what's not good about them, are they going to meet their needs, are they not? And so that's where I hopefully come in. So make sure that you go over to my website, hearingup.com, and uh, here in another day or two, I'm going to have an over-the-counter hearing aid page up that's going to be providing you with information on what the different options are, where you can go to actually purchase them, and then I will be posting my reviews on the hearingup.com website too. So that is uh, pretty much it. Now to finish off my week, I'm actually doing a half Ironman. In fact, you're probably wondering what this wristband is. This is my Ironman wristband that I have to keep on uh, to actually go and do the race tomorrow. So it is a 1.2 mile swim, a 56 mile bike, and a 13.1 mile run. And hopefully I'm ready. I went and dropped off my bike 
at the race course today and there were massive storms rolling through. And so we went from having 90 degree weather out here to in the mid 70s now at this point. So tomorrow will be a little bit cooler of a, of a race day, which is really good for me. Actually, if it can be a little bit cooler, I tend to go faster when it's cooler weather for obvious reasons. But that should be a really fun day. Hopefully everything goes to plan and uh, that will finish off my triathlon season. It was a relatively short season this year because I didn't really decide I wanted to race until kind of you know midway through the season. But we'll see what happens next year with that. The thing I'm not super excited about is that I have to record my actual YouTube videos now, like my structured videos, and I have to be wearing this for that. So that's going to kind of look a little weird, but uh, it is what it is. If that's the worst thing that happens to me today, I think I'll be okay. So no makeup today on my YouTube videos. I can promise you that. In fact, I probably will never wear makeup again unless we do another one of those big video shoots. So I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit the like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button with notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video, not just on my vlog, but on my uh, regular videos and my podcasts and all of that as well. So as always, guys, I'll see you next week.